Hey everybody, Rich here. Going to talk about the Defragler, which is free and awesome and available from piriform.com slash defragler or defragler.com. This is a very good replacement for the standard Windows Disk Defragmenter, no matter what version of Windows you have, because any defragmenter that has ever come with Windows has sucked. So you owe it to yourself to use this one instead, as it's a lot better. And I'm going to give you a few tips and tricks on how to make this run a little faster. Not, I won't say blazingly faster, but <clears throat> a little faster than usual. And we'll start with the defrag button itself. Now you have the option of defrag or quick defrag. In my experience, I have noticed that the quick defrag is actually slower. So I don't use it. I use defrag instead. After hitting the analyze button, and analyzing your hard drive like so. And we see I have 2300 defragmented files. Oh, that's so awful. No, not really. Anyway, so now the first thing you should do is not just to go and nail the defrag button. Go to the file list instead and then sort by fragments so that you have the most fragmented files listed at top. You will notice that the ones that are there are usually either installer files that you download or video files like DVD rips and things like that. Now the installer file doesn't arrive on your hard drive to fragment it. We run the installer. For example, I just installed GIMP 2.8.0 and uh, as I just said, the, the file did not arrive to fragment, uh, excuse me, fragmented. It got that way after running the installer because that's the way it works because it's extracting a bunch of files into folders and pertinent directories and things of that sort. So, and if I had movie files on here, I would see the same thing, bec not for uh, installation reasons, because they don't install anything. It The way that happens is that you're streaming a single file constantly when you're actually playing the video, so it naturally will get fragmented. Now the point is that when you go file list, if you see anything here, such as movies you don't watch anymore, installer files you don't need, get rid of them. Just go to where they are and delete the files and then run your defragmenter then. If you want to make it go even faster, reboot before you defrag and I'll show you why. If I scroll down a little bit here I should see it. There it is. System volume information. You will see some of these files every so often and if you try to defragment that it won't work. So if I defrag that single file, it'll say no files were defragmented. That's because it is a system file and can't be touched. But what you can do is that once you have deleted the files <coughs> excuse me, that you don't need, such as installer files for apps you have installed, video files, movies you don't watch anymore, things of that sort, anything but system files and executables basically, or uh, not executable because this one is an executable, no system, don't touch the system files. Anyway, after you're done that and you reboot, that system volume file will be different. Uh, it will be possibly slightly different in size, and in addition to that, it will put itself on the hard drive in place because it's dynamically generated every time you start Windows. So, uh, whatever space is unused, the next time Windows boots, it puts itself there and it makes the defragmentation go a little faster. If you don't understand that, don't worry, you don't have to. <laughs> Just uh, get rid of your installers, get rid of your old movie files that you don't watch anymore, give her a reboot, and then run the defragmenter by going back to the tab and hitting defrag, or, you know, this one, not the quick defrag, and it should go through slightly quicker. So uh, happy defragging, everyone.